eyesight camera I'm not gonna have much enthusiasm I don't feel like doing anything I've had one of those weeks where I'm just kind of like uh I hate life Charlie your spirited way which I will check out now I'd seen it like heard of it but I hadn't really looked into it but I will totally check it out because it's got to be good if you like it right um but last week my school did like a film festival thing and we got to watch two films and my history teacher was like okay give me a toonie because you're being, you're watching these films or whatever because there was a documentary he wanted us all to see so okay and then I went to um, this other one it was called One Week and it was supposed to be like the Canadian Napoleon Dynamite I don't really know how it was but whatever it was a really awesome movie yeah this film festival after we watched One Week a director lady I don't know someone from Film Canada um, came in and she's like oh we'll do a demonstration thing blah blah I need a volunteer no one was volunteering no one was volunteering she's like I need like an actor whatever I was like Whatever, fine, I'll put up my hand, I'll volunteer. And I had, I mean, you can see by my school uniform, it's not very, like, flattering. I was wearing a rugby sweater, so it's kind of like this, except it's a sweater, it's even worse. And I had shorts on, and my shorts are too big, because, I don't know, when I bought them, they were too big, and I have a year of school left, not even. I'm not going to buy more shorts, because they're like 60 bucks or something stupid. Like, for some ugly school shorts. Anyway. No, I'm just saying, I didn't look the most feminine. Um... But I was up in front, whatever, and then this other girl, Jessica, she's my other person in my line, was, um, you're an alien. And then she's like, how dare you? So we did that a couple times, you know. Then my friend Nate, he comes up and he's the camera guy. So she says, Nate, you're going to focus in on him. And I heard it, and I was like, eh, it's probably an accent, whatever. She's like, he's going to say his line, you're going to follow him across. I'm like, and people in the audience are like, what? kind of thing and I'm like oh my goodness this is my life and she's like you're gonna focus in on him and keeps calling me him like I've thrown my arms up in the air turned and everything she, she doesn't even catch on I hit a bag <laughs> but yeah and that like I'm so sick of people calling me a boy eventually the Jessica girl came over and was like that's a girl and she's like oh I'm sorry but like okay I understand you guys thinking I'm a guy because I have a unisex name and I had a Halo picture. Like, nothing has you guys, because when you saw me in YouTube, in person, it's not really person, but when you saw me, you were like, that's a chick. Like, do I really look that manly? So the project and people not being committed, like, I understand if you tell us and are like, hey, like, Bilby, obviously, school is freaking important, more important than a YouTube thing that he's doing, and we have 17 subscribers! Anyway... <laughs> I was excited. Um, but yeah, like, I completely understand that. If you let us know, it's totally different. But, like, Lauren and Bobby, we haven't even seen Bobby. Lauren's done one. Like, where are your videos? And yeah, Lauren, this is your your project. Ow, I scratched myself. That's what I get for flailing. That's the other thing I want to say is that people, like, we're not really talking to each other, I find. It's a lot of, like, I mean, I just told a story, whatever, that's cool, but I, I don't know. I, I think we need to work on making it more of a conversation between and not just having random videos all on the same channel. Charlie, he said you were a loner. I totally didn't think that. I totally didn't think of that at all. But hey, I'm a loner. Today I have a Halo date. <laughs> My friend, I worked with him on the weekend and he was like, you haven't played Halo Reach yet. And I was like, yes I have. You're just never online. And yes, we talk like this. And we don't. But yeah, and he's like, oh, so we have to play. And we decided to play today because he doesn't work. Thanks, Katie, for showing me or telling me about dreads, because that, I, I, I don't know, I'd never known. So thank you. And the other thing I wanted to say was it's so cool, like, meeting people from different places, as Charlie said, but, like, it's so weird to look. Like, Katie, all your video, there's, like, these big mountains, and you were on the soccer field, and there was this building in the background, which it looks like something near my house. We have, like, a park, and it's got a soccer field on it, and then there's, like, these apartments in the back. The difference is, you've got this big, these mountains in the background. I mean, we're hilly. It's Ontario. We're hilly, but there's not mountains like that. That is so cool. So, Charlie, you asked if we could, you know, tell we where you wanted to see. I don't even care. Just around. Like, show us around landscapes in your city and stuff. I've never been to England. I've never been overseas. So, that'd be really sweet to just see stuff. And anything you show, I'm going to be like, whoa, that's so cool. And I think the more we show each other of things, the more 
we're introduced to things about each other and about the area, the more we're going to be like, whoa, that's totally not the same as me. Because it's the weirdest, littlest things that you notice that are different. Like, Americans say slug bug, and Canadians, we do punch buggy. Uh, Charlie, Dominique, is, is that different for um, British people? <laughs> I don't even know. I'm kind of tired. Anyway, okay, bye. We'll see someone tomorrow or the next day or maybe the day after that and for sure on Friday because Dominique hasn't missed a week yet. So there you go. Feel the pressure, Dominique. Feel the pressure. Okay, see you guys later.